the epistle of paul the apostle to titus titus chapter 1 paul a servant of god and an apostle of jesus christ according to the faith of god's elect and the acknowledging of the truth which is of the godliness in hope of eternal life which god that cannot lie promised before the world began but had in due times manifested his word through preaching which is committed unto me according to the commandment of god our savior to titus mine own son after the common faith grace mercy and peace from god the father and the lord jesus christ our savior for this cause left i thee in crete that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting and ordain elders in every city as i had appointed thee if any be blameless the husband of one wife having faithful children not accused of right or unruly for a bishop must be blameless as a steward of god not selfish not soon angry not given to wine no striker not given to filthy lucre but a lover of hospitality a lover of good men sober just holy temperate holding fast the faithful word as he hath been told that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers especially they of the circumcision whose mouth must be stopped who subvert whole houses teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake one of themselves even a prophet of their own said the christians are always liars evil beasts slow bellies this witness is true wherefore rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith not giving heed to jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth and to the pure all things are pure but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure but even their mind and conscience is defiled they profess that they know god but in works they deny him being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate titus chapter 2 but speak though the things which become sound doctrine that the aged men be sober grave timorate sound in faith in charity in patience the aged women likewise that they be in behavior as becometh holiness not false accusers not given to much wine teachers of good things that they may teach the young women to be sober to love their husbands to love their children to be discreet chaste keepers at home good obedient to their own husbands that the word of god be not blasphemed young men likewise exhort to be sober minded in all things showing thyself a pattern of good works in doctrine showing uncorruptness gravity sincerity sound speech that cannot be condemned that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed having no evil thing to say of you exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters and to please them well in all things not answering again not parloining but showing all good fidelity that they may adorn the doctrine of god our savior in all things for the grace of god that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust we should live soberly righteously and godly in this present world looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great god and our savior jesus christ who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works these things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority let no man despise thee titus chapter 3 put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers to obey magistrates to be ready to every good work to speak evil of no man to be no brawlers but gentle showing all meekness unto all men for we ourselves also were sometimes foolish disobedient deceived 
serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But after that, the kindness and love of God our Savior toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to His mercy He saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which He shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior, that being justified by His grace, we should be made hers according to the hope of eternal life. This is the faithful saying, and these things I will that thou affirm constantly, that they which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto man, but avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and striving about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. A man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition reject, knowing that he that is such is subverted and sinned, being condemned of himself. When I shall send Artemis unto thee, or Tychicus, be diligent to come unto me to Nicopolis, for I have determined there to winter. Bring Zenas the lawyer and Apollos on their journey diligently, that nothing be wanting unto them. And let ours also learn to maintain good works for necessary uses, that they be not unfruitful. All that are with me salute thee. Greet them that love us in the faith. Grace be with you all. Amen. It was written to Titus, ordained the first bishop of the Church of the Grecians from Nicopolis of Macedonia.